What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off we tried out a couple new mods that should improve the videos such as a uh, look up anything mod. I think I could pull that up by doing this. Yeah, I can, see, I can look up anything, I could just search whatever, like, 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 what do we have? Apples? Yeah, we can look up like Apple the fruit here and we can see, yeah, we need, oh man, it even says you need a freaking community center. Ooh, wait, what? Bulletin board fodder times three and, okay. Interesting. It even tells you, hey, it needs to go into the bullet. I'm always like questioning, oh man, where's this fish? Where's this resource need to go? And it tells you where, uh, which part of the community center it needs to go. So that's really cool. I didn't notice that last time. But uh, also tells you you could sell it for how much? Uh, 110 and then 137 for a silver and then a 165 for a gold. 220 for iridium though. Woo! And it even tells you who likes it though. So that's pretty interesting there. I did get some comments of you guys, by the way. Oh yeah. And then uh, wine and other stuff that you could do with it as well. Uh, I did get some comments of you guys. Whatever I asked you guys, hey, what do you guys think about the mod? And a lot of you guys liked it. Uh, but the, here we go. You guys wanted me to turn on the progression mode, which if I remember correctly from last episode, when we were doing some myth busting about it, uh, if I look up apples now, it shouldn't say who likes it now, right? Yeah, see, look at that. It says, uh, likes this and it says 32 unrevealed villagers. Uh, and then yeah, it says it has, it has all the same recipes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I don't know why these are grayed out. It's probably grayed out because I don't actually know it in game. So it's kind of like, tell me, I don't know if I could actually gray this out beforehand, but, uh, I guess we'll just leave it on progression mode. And then, uh, I guess if we figure out who likes apples, which obviously it's, who's going to like it. Marnie's the, the fodder one, I think. Right. So if we give her an apple, she'll obviously like it. Right. Uh, then I guess she'll show up on this list and then it'll say third 31 unrevealed villagers, I think. Uh, so that'll be pretty interesting, but yeah, it seems like a pretty good balanced way. We could actually use the mod as well as we have this other mod over here where we show it, it like shows all the villagers like around the actual map, which is really cool. Like their actual physical location where they are right now. So if I'm ever like, oh, man, where is uh, where's Clint at? OK, he's over at the blacksmith area, but he's I'm like, he's closed right now. It's 9 a.m. But if it's like 2 p.m. or whatever, we're wondering, hey, where is he? Uh, we can just look at this map and it's going to show us where where he is. So that's really cool, you guys. Uh, so it seems like you guys do like the mods. Some of you guys weren't really too big of a fan of it because you guys do like the vanilla. Uh, whenever I do play it with no mods and whatnot, but some of you guys also did like how these mods weren't really too intrusive to the gameplay, and if anything, they kind of just uh, help you out, because like, I'm looking things up on the wiki every now and then anyway, so if I'm going to look something up, might as well actually have it uh, where you guys can see it too, like a tree. Okay, well, there's... Oh, dead tree, okay. <laughs> I own zero dead trees. Okay, well, yeah, see, if I'm going to look something up in the wiki, I guess we'll look it up in the game and we can look at it together, which is going to be cool. Instead of me doing some weird screenshot stuff and having to show it later, right? But also last episode, uh, you can see we have 297 stone right there. We started collecting a bunch of stone for Robin's resource rush. We're almost a third the way there. We need to get a thousand stone before the end of the week. It's currently Thursday. And as you can see up there, it is actually... Christmas Day, or was it called in the game? A uh, Feast of the Winter Star or something like that? So it's a pretty special day today, you guys. Uh, I think that starts at like, what, 2 p.m.? Or no, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., I think, right? I, I think we can go look at the mail and, uh, or maybe the TV's going to tell us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, probably like Fortune Teller or Living Off the Land or, oh, wait, no, Weather Report? Is he going to say this? I think so. Uh, expect a few inches of snow to, oh, yeah, because it, it only tells you about it tomorrow. Uh, Fortune Teller is displeased. Why are you displeased? It's Christmas Day. <laughs> Living off the land, and let's see what this is about. Ever had the urge to dig around in your neighbor's trash? Ew. Hey, if that's your thing, just don't do it when anyone's around. If they notice you, they'll be seriously grossed out, and it'll harm your friendship. Well, unless they're into the same thing. Ooh, interesting. I wonder who who could like their trash being rummaged through. <laughs> or does that mean like if I pick up like a fish or something like that and Willie catches me, is he not going to be upset about it? I don't know. Uh, either way, we do have a couple geodes right there. I do want to open as well as the Omni geode right there. Uh, I don't know. I might, I might. I'm thinking about maybe giving Clint the Omni. Oh, yeah. Then we have a gold over here. Let's go pick that up, too. Uh, I did clear out my inventory before starting the episode, by the way. So uh, I, I don't have to worry about doing that on camera. And let's see what this is over here. Oh, Waffles, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You were passed out from exhaustion. Yeah, what do we do? I, I think we fell asleep where? I think it was in our base, wasn't it? I don't think it was too bad. Uh, but it looks like we did lose a little bit of money. Build me $688 to cover the uh, medical expenses. And we made like 8000 or something like that overnight. So that's why we're back over to 14000 which is great. Uh, I also did get some comments from you guys. And I don't know if this is actually going to show up here. Because uh, we kind of looked it up last time. But the shed. Yeah, it's not going to show up here, unfortunately, for some reason. What about like building? Oh, yeah, I think we looked that up last time. Yeah, some things don't show up on this for some strange reason. But uh, you guys did say to get the uh, the shed to get Robin to start building the shed. I guess I could actually look that up in the web browser. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for that the old fashioned way, right? Let me look that up real quick. Okay, so it looks like you need 300 wood and then 15,000 gold to start building the shed, uh, which we're actually pretty close to. We have 14,700 right now, and then wood, I don't know how much we have right now. 
Uh, but it shouldn't be too hard to get 300 wood, considering we have all these trees I need to start cutting down around the uh, around the base, right? But uh, you guys said to get the shed, and then just kind of move all the kegs, all the preserving bins, all that kind of stuff into the shed. That way they kind of take up less space outside, and then... I guess I guess the shed is going to be kind of like these other buildings over here, kind of like the barn, where it's a lit, it's like huge on the inside, but it's like, oh, you can actually open that. Oh, probably don't want to do that until it's uh until it's like winter time or uh, <laughs> spring time, not winter time that is. <laughs> and it was a sped our little cows. Yeah, I remember last episode we bought another cow. I think we bought the white one last episode, right? Yeah, Wef over here. <laughs> we bought Wef, and then over here we have Fumbus. They have uh, sufficient food over here. Don't need to worry about that. I did get a comment actually saying you can indeed load hay back into this hay machine by just uh, right clicking it with the hay and yeah it's not going to let me do it because this is full right now but if i had hay in my inventory i could just right click that and then it go in there I don't, I don't have to go over to the silo to do that right oh hey look at that oh yeah i was wondering when it started but it says right there the feast of the winter star has begun uh, oh yeah and i did get another comment from you guys saying i could actually put like paths in front of the chicken like like the egg machine or whatever that is and i guess we could do that real quick it's going to take a few stone over here uh let's get four of those uh but four isn't going to be too big of a deal Let's actually place these down like right here just to kind of prevent any eggs from spawning right there, right? And then, of course, let's pet our chicken friends and get ourselves enough hay. There we go to feed them for the day. Actually, yeah, um, you guys did say if there's like a special event happening or whatever, like the game is just going to auto feed them. So I guess we didn't really have to do that, to be quite honest. And then, yeah, let's go over here to the mushroom cave. Yeah, remember last episode went over to the mines to try and get a bunch of uh, or yeah, to try and get a bunch of stone. And we accidentally died, so kind of sucks there. We got swarmed by a bunch of enemies, and whenever that happened, we actually lost like 99 or something like that common brown mushrooms, which really sucks because we were using that as like our main food source. So really sucks we missed out on that because that's like literally thousands of dollars just kind of down the drain right there, you guys. Whoops. Oh man, I forgot to put the eggs back inside the uh, the egg machine. Oopsie oopsie. I'm gonna put up the uh, the other stuff over here though. Mayonnaise, put that up. There we go, geode. Um, I don't know. We can probably take care of that some sometime in the future. Let's grab the uh, wine though. We need the wine because we need to give Harvey wine for Christmas for the uh, Feast of the Winter Star event, right? And I think that actually ends at like two p.m. I think. So yeah, I I I don't want to spend too much time over here. Just go and try and get some of the busy work done real quick. And of course, let's get those eggs started processing in the mayonnaise machines or egg machines, whatever I called them just a minute ago. <laughs> There you go. Oh, whoops. Do not eat that. There we go. All right. Well, I guess we can just start heading down to the Feast of the Wind. I think it's still like over here at the town square, right? Uh, I don't think there's any other special location I need to go. I think it's like literally like right here. So we're going to load into it and see what this event is all about, right? Uh, oh, we have some uh, common mushrooms right there. I guess we can keep those. Stone, pine tar. I don't know. Put that down there. And then Omni Geode. I don't know. If, if Clint is open uh, later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have to go through here first. <laughs> but let's go through here and then we should start the uh, Feast of the Winter Star event, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got Snowy Amp. Cool. Yeah, there's nothing really else up there. Just holly and crocus or whatever over there. And we have more worms over here. Let's go see what this is. Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'd, oh, I'll remember it here in just a minute. But uh, a thought just popped into my head. But look at this. We have a Christmas event going on right here. We've got some fancy music playing as well. And then over here, we got a Christmas tree with a bunch of gifts under it as well. What do you have to say about this, Mayor Lewis? Today is the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. All right, sounds good to me. What about you, Marnie? Oh, man, it's not a coincidence that Marnie's right here hanging out next to Lewis, right? <laughs> Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Oh, welcome to you too, Marnie. I, don't, I, I guess uh, Lewis don't have anything else to say. So what do we do over here? Oh, there's another big... Man, that Christmas tree is even bigger than the one over here. Yeah, look at that. It's like twice the size. And here's Abigail over here. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? Yeah, why are we eating like outside? All the food's just going to get cold like instantly. Like, look at all the snow around here. <laughs> Ooh, I had too much nog. <laughs> and of course, over here, Pierre is always selling something during these events. Uh, ornate windows, small pine, large light string. Ooh, yeah, you know what? I'm like, it's a little bit late to buy this stuff, but it'd be it, it, it'd be nice to have this at least for next year. And then we can kind of decorate our base if I can. But it's 800 and then ugh, all this stuff. Decorative axe. Is there anything here? That's, oh, man, tree of the winter. Star. Oh, yeah, I already have that. Yeah, I already bought that like. Man, when did I buy that? I feel like I've had that Christmas tree forever, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's that's the one that we have in our uh, in our house. And then a manicured pine. Yeah, I don't I don't really want to buy anything over here. Uh, who have you not talked to, Shane? I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me, <laughs> I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Oh yeah, what about ancient aliens? Huh? 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 <laughs> <sighs> All these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Oh, Clint, why don't you go over there? Well, who, who did Clint have a crush on? I feel like it was her, Caroline, right? Maybe it was, I'm pretty sure it was. Or maybe it was someone, or maybe, no, it was Abigail, wasn't it? 
I don't know, but either way, they're like right there, Clint. So, uh, hey, this is a great opportunity to go over there and say hi. It's a fine art making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Oh yeah, is Gus like a, a candy cane connoisseur? <laughs> I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red coloring and it's all natural. Ooh, yeah, he really knows his canes. <laughs> Oh, so you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla in the white candy. Ooh, to complement the cherry flavor. Ooh, hey everyone, it's a drop of vanilla in the, in the white flavoring to complement the whatever you just said. <laughs> Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Man, he has a lot to say about candy canes. <laughs> I didn't know Gus was like so into candy canes. Like I was kind of memeing like, oh, he's a, can he's a candy cane connoisseur, but like he actually is. <laughs> hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? Uh, well, I guess we found out what Gus is passionate about, right? I wonder if we could buy one of these candy cane like decorations and just kind of gift to him and that'd be like a really loved gift. <laughs> Uh, why, hello, Waffle. It's chilly, isn't it? I'm like, it is literally like the middle of winter and there's snow all around us. So, uh, you know what? You might be on something there, Elliot. <laughs> Anyways, Leah, what do you have to say about this? Gus was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. Uh, yeah, me too. I'm like, he just went on and on and on about it. And then he whispered some secret to me. I already forgot what it was, so he don't have to worry about that, right? <laughs> I think he had too much cinnamon nog. Oh, I bet so. Waffle, what are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? A new watering can, a jug of spiced mead, a pair of stylish boots. Ooh. So is, I have a feeling, is she our secret, what is it called? Like secret, ad, not secret admirer, but you know, kind of like we're the secret gifter for Harvey over there. Is she going to be the secret gifter for us? I feel like it. She's just kind of like trying to get a last minute idea of what she should gift me. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. A jug of spiced meat, a new watering can. I'm like, we just upgraded ours, so I don't know if I really need a new one. I'm like, unless she's going to give me a gold one, then hey, I, I can't say no to that. <laughs> Maybe a new pair of stylish boots. I'm like, we're looking at them last episode. Uh, whatever is like a step above what we have right now. It wasn't really like too crazy, so maybe that, I don't know, a jug of spiced mead, I don't know, that could be pretty good too. Um, I'm like, I literally just said maybe not the watering can, but I'm like, if she gives me a gold one, then hey, I'm not going to complain about that. Everything else over here, I'm not too crazy about, uh, maybe the boots, but, uh, let's get the watering can just in time for spring. Let's tell her this one. All work and no play. That's not very fun. Oh man! I'm like, I, th I thought that might have been like the one that made the most sense for me, but whatever. <laughs> Haley, what do you have to say about this? I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Should I treat Haley a little nicer next year? I don't know. Maybe she should treat me a little nicer next year and then she can get treated a little nicer. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know who her secret gifter is this year. George, what do you have to say? A feast for some stupid star? Humbug. Oh man, he literally, he actually does look like, the, what is his name? Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. Uh, well, I am, obviously. Like, look at me. I'm wearing heckin' shorts and a short sleeve shirt and the sunglasses in the middle of winter and a heckin' cone hat. Like, state the obvious much there, Evelyn? <laughs> what do you have to say, Alex? Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Jody, what do you have to- Oh man, I completely skipped over uh, Harvey over here. My secret gift- gift recipient. Give Harvey a secret gift? Should, do I do that now, or? I kind of want to. Let's do it. L let's give it to him right now. But yeah, let's do it. I feel like this is a little bit early, but this is surely what you have to do, right? Oh, so it's you. Okay, so yeah, it is what you have to do right now. Okay, I, I was so confused right there. I thought I'd maybe I had to put it under a tree or something like that, and then there's going to be some event afterwards, but no. I guess we just give it to him right now. So there we go. We gave Harvey a little thing of wine right there for Feast of the Winter Star, and it looks like he really likes it. Oh, so it's you. Ah, a cranberry's wine. Uh, you mean cranberry wine, but uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, I bet it. Oh man, I missed out on it. Oh no. Wait, hold on. What happened? Oh, and there's Leah. Wait, is Leah my secret? <gasps> oh, I'm jumping for joy. What do you have to say about that, Leah? Is that my gift or is that just you putting that down for someone else? Hey, Waffle, I'm your secret gift giver this year. <gasps> Here, open it. Oh, what is it? Oh, I thought it was Emily earlier, but no, it's Leah. What's inside? Tea set. Oh, spill the tea, sis. You received a tea set. Oh, we're going to have a tea party. <laughs> it's not much, but I hope you like it. Oh, yeah. What is that? What can I do with that? Actually, isn't T 
tea in like Caroline's thing? Like she has like whole like greenhouse or whatever and then you have to like sip tea in there and then spill the tea with Caroline sis and say yas queen over and over again like it's 2015 or something like that. <laughs> Cut all that out of the video by the way, golly. It's not a good time of year for a diet, I know right? Anyways, uh, there we go. Uh, so that's, that's good that we can continue talking to everyone over here. I thought that was going to like end the event over here, but I guess not. Oh yeah, Leah, so can I talk to you after that or, or what? No, I can't. Okay, what are you looking at? She's kind of looking that direction randomly. <laughs> so I'm very curious what that T set is all about. That's kind of weird. Uh, like, it has nothing to do with me. Unless, like, you could place down tea and then you can get, like, one free tea every day or something like that and, like, place it in your house. That'd be pretty interesting and hopefully it, like, has the same side effects as, like, coffee maybe. It gives you a little bit of energy, maybe it wakes you up. That'd be pretty interesting. Anyway, Sam, I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, we just saw you the other day trying to do a kickflip, so I, I'm like, it makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, Mario. Hi, Waffle. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you doing, Mario? What are you doing over here, Robin? Hiya, Waffle. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh yeah, I might just. Maybe get that heckin' turkey and take the whole thing home. What do you have to say, Sebastian? Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Eh, I know what you mean there. I'll probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> oh yeah, getting another set of the same tools over and over again. I don't know, maybe this year you'll get a tie or something like that, Demetrius. Or maybe maybe like a lab set or something pretty cool. Maybe a potato. I, I, I think you like potatoes, but I'm not your secret gift giver, so don't look at me. Anyways, what do you have to say over here, Vincent? Can we open presents now? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm like, Harvey already, well, I opened mine as well, so I, I can't really blame him for that, right? <laughs> Anyways, is there anyone else I missed over here? I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of people. There's even Penny up there and all that kind of stuff. What do you have to say about the Linus? I'd join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Come on, Linus, you're, you're welcome. You're part of the town. You're part of the family. Come over here. I don't know, it, hopefully someone gave Linus, hopefully... Someone is like Linus's secret admirer. I keep saying that. Secret gift giver. I think it's the technical term for that, right? <laughs> Anyways, Marlin. Hey, good afternoon. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Willie? Do you want to hear a legend of the Winter Star? Yeah, let's let's hear about this Winter Star. Why is it called this? In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the Winter Star would be blessed with the good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as Star Drop is connected to the Winter Star in some way. Oh yeah? That's kind of an interesting story you told there, Willie. So, can we get this Star Drop thing? Because isn't that the thing that gives you a permanent, like, stamina increase? We've gotten one of them beforehand. We could have gotten two of them, but I missed out on an opportunity earlier on in the series. Maybe we can do that a little bit later. Uh, but hey, maybe maybe we could do that, uh, maybe we can get a star fruit or whatever here in just a minute, that'd be pretty cool, or like after the event or something like that. Anyways, what do you have to say, Pam and Penny? What a beautiful tree! I agree, it's so huge, too! What do you have to say, Pam? Hmm, I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition! Oh yeah, me too. I completely forgot that was it. Like, when did that even happen? It feels like it was like forever ago when that happened, honestly. <laughs> it's going crazy. Now, is there anything else up here? Uh, no, it's, it's just kind of blocked off over there. Uh, what about over here, though? Let's see if there's anything, like, hidden all the way over here, though. See if we might be missing out on anything. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything, but we do have spirits that are upset with us. Yeah, I can't even go through that. So, we, can we just leave and that's it for the event? Seems like it. That's blocked off. That's blocked off. I don't know. I, I guess we could just straight up just leave if we want. Oh, this is blocked off over here, too. Uh, can we go inside here, though? I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. No, I can't. I can't just up and leave and leave everyone behind. Can I go talk to, uh, Mayor Lewis now and... That could, like, signal the uh, event, or, like, he's, like, blocking off stuff with his candy canes. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything else over here we might be missing out on. Yeah, and that's blocked off over there, too. Uh, but, yep, 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 that's blocked off, too. I think we talked to everyone over here, and, of course, we already gave Harvey his, uh, his gift, so don't need to worry about that. Let me just double check and see if there's anything else I might have missed out on over here, but, yeah, I, reading the comments last episode, you guys did say this event is apparently pretty short, so... Uh, I was kind of antis anticipating it to be like a really long event, but I guess not. Oh yeah, I guess if anything, I could talk to uh, Pierre casually back here. Not as like a shopkeep sort of mean, right? Yeah, here we go. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Uh, well, I didn't buy anything from you, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. <laughs> He's trying to invent holidays. That, that's why we have like holidays for every day of the year now. Like national like hot dog day and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I, th I think that's it, right? I don't think there's anything else going on right now. I, I am like, we already gifted the gift. We already talked to everyone around here, I believe. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anyone we missed. Yeah, I, I guess we just straight up just leave, huh? 
Uh, hopefully I'm miss not missing out on anything. Yeah, we already did everything over here. Already, I can't right click. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Almost missed out on Jazz. Ooh, presents. Uh, oh, well, I guess I'm done. Hold on, is the wizard visible? Usually the wizard is visible. He's like hiding above and then just kind of watching everyone. But I don't see him right now. I don't know where he is. Is he even here? He must be like really hidden or something like that. I do not see him at all. So leave the Feast of the Winter Star once you do the festival win. I guess so. I'm like, we already did everything we can do, I, I think. So I guess we'll just hit OK. There you go. So is it going to be 10 p.m.? Yeah, it always, it always teleports to 10 p.m. And then there's the tea set that we got right there. Yeah, fine porcelain is just straight up decor. So I can't really do anything with that other than just place it down on the table, I guess. Right. Uh, but I guess I can go inside, and get some coal or something like that. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I do have gold. Isn't Clint's birthday tomorrow? Uh, yeah, 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 it is tomorrow. OK, yeah. You know what? I was about to go put up the gold. I'm going to keep the gold in my inventory. Let's keep that. Let's give that to Clint. Uh, I guess I'll grab some coal as well and we can smelt up those uh, geodes just because I, I was going to open them up anyways over with Clint. But, you know, because that whole event and all that kind of stuff, I was unable to do that. So let's just uh, open up. Let's open up the regular geodes first. Yep, there you go. And these are already all processing. Yeah, and I guess I, I think the chickens, they, they should be done with all the uh, mayonnaise, right? I should just be able to. Yep, there you go. They're all sleeping, so let's be nice and quiet. There you go. We got three gold stars right there. Not bad. Getting some good money right there, you guys. Nice. Let's go over here. Let's go sell them. And I don't know if there's anything else I need to sell. Let me see. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we have pine. Yeah. Didn't we need pine tar for something like that? Or some something in general? I forgot what... Uh, no, we need oak resin for the kegs. And pine tar, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to say this earlier. Uh, someone said to use bombs and use that to kind of break stone as well as to break uh, like, like like dirt and stuff like that to try and like in the mines where I'm trying to get the scroll four for the uh, for the dwarves. So I, I guess we can try and get some, uh, some some bombs going. I think we need what was it four iron I just saw a second ago, and then one coal. Do we have that? Yeah, we have eleven uh, iron. Well, we have oh, we smelted a lot of them to iron bars. Oh, we do have bombs just straight. Yeah, we have two bombs right there. We have cherry bombs. We could use those. We have coal right there, too. I guess if we make a few of them, maybe head to the mines. And not not right now. Oh, hey, I just got a new achievement for artisan. What is that about? <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. There you go. Making some bombs. How do I make cherry bombs? OK, it's, it's copper. And co OK, you know what? I don't know if because uh, I know I have a lot of that. So there you go. I don't know how effective the uh, cherry bombs are at doing this, but I guess I'll make a few of them. So we have six right now. I don't know. Get uh, 14 of them. Yeah, there you go. So we have 20. <laughs> Look at that number right there. That's going to get my channel shut down. But uh, let's place these back. Then uh, we have geodes, all that kind of stuff. Coal, yeah, let's put that up as well. Pine tar, don't know what to do with that. I guess we can... I'm like, we already broke a bunch of boulders here last episode. There's not really that much left over that I might have missed out on, unfortunately. So I guess if anything, I can just kind of go around here and... I don't know. I'm like, you know, I need to... Oh, hey, look at the cherry tree. It's actually growing. That's pretty cool. I do need to go to bed before midnight, right? For once. So <laughs> should I do that right now? Maybe. I guess we could. Oh, hey, uh, we got Jamborite from the uh, Omni Geo. That kind of sucks. Thought it'd be something a little bit better, but whatever. Oh, man, I left coal inside, though. I need to go grab that, and then we can process this regular geode real quick. But uh, yeah, I already have Jamborite, uh, so I, I guess I'll put that up. Uh, yeah, see, so I have two of those right there. So yeah, that kind of sucks that we have that. Not really going to be able to use that, unfortunately. Can't even give that to a pan or a penny. Uh, let's get, put the geode there. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's 11.50 right now. Uh, it's probably going to be like actually just straight up midnight whenever I actually go to bed. So, no. Oh, hey, it's 11.50. Wow, how did I do that? That was crazy. Let's go to bed for the night. Nice. So we're not going to have a uh, stamina little penalty down there. That's good. And we got $2,000 overnight. Nice. So we should have enough money now to buy the shed if I have 300 wood. Or at least, you know, get the shed started because it takes like two or three days or something like that, right? But anyways, today is Clint's birthday. We do have the gold in our inventory. Oh, wait, no, I didn't open the money. Yeah, I, I did the Railer Geoda. Okay. So I guess I don't feel that bad about that, right? But uh, yeah, yeah, Clint's birthday. Definitely want to see. So do, do we know? Do do we know any like secret notes that might have said, oh, Clint likes this, Clint likes this. I know I can look it up in the heckin' built-in wiki thing, the look it up mod or whatever it's called. Uh, oh, there he is. Oh, he's actually relatively low on our list down there. Oh, well, he know we know he likes corn, but... Yeah, I don't think any of those secret notes told us, oh, Clint likes this uh, or like that. Or, well, he doesn't like, he doesn't like copper. That's kind of weird. <laughs> you think someone like him would like copper ore, but I guess not, right? It's kind of strange. Uh, but I feel like maybe if we have iridium or gold or anything like that, that that's going to be something he's going to like, right? So definitely want to try that out as, as well as those bombs. Let's try those out as well. Uh, oh, oh, Leah. Hi, Waffle. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely is. Probably because you're here. I brought you a gift. Oh, you didn't have to. Come on, you gave me a gift for the Feast of the Winter Star. You didn't have to give me another gift. 
is a sculpture. I've been working on it just for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Hey, she gave us that like weird like corkscrew sculpture she was working on uh, like two episodes ago, right? You received Leah's sculpture. Ooh, Leah's sculpture. It's called How I Feel About Waffle. I hope you like it. Oh, that is so nice. That's so sweet. And hey, look at that. We have pine tar over there, so we can actually make more uh, kegs too, so that's cool. So anyways, uh, so where's that sculpture at right here? Can I place that down? Yeah, we definitely should. Decoration, Kimberly, please. Yeah, cool. So hold on. Did, did Leah also make the tea set? Nah, I don't, I don't know. She could have, maybe. I, I was about to say, like, maybe she could have, but I'm like, it seems like she sculpts things. And I don't know if she sculpted this tea set unless she, like, did that, like, like pottery thing, like, with the spinning thing. And, and made the tea set like by hand. That'd be kind of crazy if she did that. Yeah, see, look at that. That fits out pretty well. We could have a tea party with the big Charmin bear over here. That's so cool. Look at this. <laughs> All right, we can spill the tea with the Charmin bear. Anyways, let's go down here. So we got another thing of iron down there. So that's really cool from the uh, from the regular geode. Let's actually process. Ah, oh, man, I don't have a coal in my inventory, man. Oh, yeah, then uh, while we're in here, let's place down the other sculpture. Let's do that over here. Uh, you know what? You know what? Feast of the Winter Star is over. Um, I don't know. Let's put that right there. I was about to say, maybe we'll take down the tree. Let's take it down at the end of the uh, season. I don't think we have to take it down right now, right? I kind of like it. It actually fits pretty well in our house, especially because it's like, nice and expanded. And we have all this extra room and stuff like that over here, right? Is there anything? Hold on. Is there anything else over here that I might have that might be good for Clint? So, oh, yeah. Someone actually said Clint likes things that someone else. I forgot what it was. Who, who was it? Abigail or, or Caroline? I forget who it was. So maybe we can give Amethyst or... Something. Oh, yeah, someone also said I need fire courts for the community center. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, well, yeah, for the community. Well, we already donated for the community center, but we have to give this to the museum. So, yeah, go ahead and tell you more about this item. Yeah, we need to donate that. So don't want to forget about that. Uh, don't know if there's anything else over here we could do. Or Aaronite and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I feel like gold, gold, iron, and then, you know, the bar version of them and not like raw ore. Maybe he would like that better than the actual because he didn't like copper ore, but maybe he'd like a copper bar. You know, you guys see what I'm saying there? So. I kind of feel like maybe he would like it a little bit better. So anyways, I do have a thing in the mail. Let's see what this is all about real quick, though. Dear Waffle, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Uh, sorry about the short notice. Uh, could you catch one for me? Yes. Yeah, let's accept the quest. Uh, it's the 26th. Yeah, we only have a couple days. I don't know if we actually have any just sitting here. Uh, yeah, we do. Boom. There it is right there. Also, OK, let's go give that to Gus. Let's go. Uh, OK, so what else do we need for the uh, the kegs, though? Iron bar, copper bar, and wood. Yeah, let's go see how much we have there. But we have a few things I want to do today, you guys. It's kind of crazy. I do want to go check out uh, check out the barn or uh, the bombs. I also want to go check out the uh, uh, give give Clint a, a gold bar. There's a lot of things I need to go give the fire courts over there. So there's a lot of things we need to do, you guys. Uh, it's only 730 right now, so nothing's really open yet. So don't need to worry about that just yet. Let's go check about how much uh, wood we have, though. Uh, we have oh wow we actually have a lot of wood. 421. Nice, very advertiser friendly number right there, you guys. I love seeing that. I didn't mean to pull up the map right there. Uh, let's pull up the K. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I need to iron bar and copper bar, I think. I think it was the bar version of them, right? Yep, there you go. Cool. So I'm going to make a few more of those, a couple more of those. Boom, boom. Cool. So we have two more kegs. Great stuff. Uh, and I think I can make one more sprinkler, right? Uh, oh, I need refined quartz. Yeah, so I can, I can make one more sprinkler and then let's not make two of them. Just so I don't use the gold while I want to give it to Clint, right? Uh, but there you go. Another quality sprinkler on the way. I can actually transmute... Uh, Two more. Wow. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make two more uh, gold bars out of the, uh, the iron right there. But yeah, you guys said to just do that in an emergency situation uh, only. Don't don't just like regular. Don't build a habit of doing that. Right. So I'm going to try and avoid uh, doing that unless I really need to. Right. So I know let's go out. And uh, so we have kegs. We need to get the crystal fruit for those. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, we learned last episode. We actually hold on. Where are the pumpkins at on this? There they are right there. Uh, we I actually saw a comment saying a uh, pumpkin like wine or pumpkin juice or whatever it is that you get from kegs it, it is worth more money but it takes like one more day longer so you kind of have to weigh and balance like is that extra day worth that extra money uh so i don't know hmm maybe, maybe right now i just make more crystal wine and hey look at that we actually have two open spots over there for uh yeah there you go two crystal fruit uh so it's actually perfect for the kegs right here cool let's get those placed down put the crystal fruit there and there cool and look at this you have a lot of money just kind of processing right there you guys getting ready to go that's really good. Let's place down this. So I guess, yeah, let's, let's do it here. So that would be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Perfect. Let's get rid of that torch just because it's kind of in the way, at least right now. So there you go. And we can place it back down uh, here. Sure. There you go. Cool. 
And this isn't in the way, is it? Yeah, those aren't in the way right now, but I definitely do want to move those a little bit later. But yeah, look at all this area over here we actually have covered by. Oh, whoa, what is that? Whoa, man, we got an opal from that. Uh, What was that geode? Omni geode? I think it was an Omni geode, wasn't it? Wow, cool. So we got an opal right there. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe Clint would like that as well. But we do need to donate that to the museum. So let's not forget about that, you guys. Uh, But yeah, it's 840 right now. Yeah, I think a lot of things are going to start opening right now. So let's actually start heading into town. And we're going to donate that to the museum, donate that to the museum, use those later, uh, go over to Gus, he opens a little bit later, I think, uh, then get that for Clint, and then Pine Tar, I guess we'll put this up in the forging stuff, so there you go, Pine Tar, don't know what to do with that just yet, but there you go, oh yeah, 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 real quick, hold on, hold on, before I forget, I know I'm probably going to forget, let's go check them on the chickens, go check them on the cows, don't want to forget about them, oh, whoops, there you go, go inside, uh, let's go pet them, oh yeah, 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 see you yet, oh uh, yeah, I, I didn't have to come into here to check them on them, just like I said yesterday, uh, whenever there's like an event going on in town, you guys said that uh, the game like feeds chickens, feeds cows, etc. for you. Uh, so they didn't eat any of the hay or anything like that. And it looks like the stone in front of the mayonnaise machines, it, it actually worked. Like no eggs were in front of the mayonnaise machine. So that's really good, you guys. I love that. Thank you very much for that. A very helpful tip. Let's actually pet all of our chickens. There you go. Cool. I guess we'll check them on the, the mushroom cave again real quick, too. Just kind of, you know, start start gathering up those mushrooms, especially the, the common brown mushrooms. Yeah, look at that. We got five of them right there uh, that we lost last episode. You know, start building that number back up, right? So we're at eight. They're actually kind of decent. What are they? Uh, yeah, 38 energy and 17 health. They're not too bad. The chanterelle ones, which I don't think I have any in my inventory right now. Those are a step above that, but uh, we don't have as many as we had the, the brown ones, right? Uh, let's put the red up there. And yeah, we don't have any other brown ones there. And then there are the chanterelles right there. Morals. Yeah, those are like one step below this. Yeah, those are kind of terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Should I get the shed started over here, though? I don't know. Maybe. Because I think the shed was 15,000 gold and then 300 wood. I guess we could do that. Like, just in time for spring. Yeah, because it's going to take like two or three days and it's the 26th right now. Ooh, that would make sense. Oh, yeah, then, yeah, you know what? We also need to make a little bit of progress. Oh, I forgot to check the TV. Whoops. Uh, but we also want to make some progress with... Uh, getting stone and stuff too because we didn't get any progress yes yesterday because it was the feast of the winter star event and all that kind of stuff right so either way let's give clint a thing of gold hopefully it's something good come on oh is it hey hey look at that we had a heart right there oh is it my birthday today i uh, guess it is thanks this is nice awesome we liked it that's good and dot 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 the weather doesn't really matter to me i typically stay near my shop year round Oh, that makes sense. You got a big, like, forge over there heating up your shop and keeping you nice and warm, right? Depressing, huh? Oh, Yeah, he should really go talk to whoever it was that uh, he had a, a crush on or something like that earlier on. Yeah, he wanted us to get, like, what, emeralds or something like that and then give it to someone and then say that you bought it from his shop. I think that was something that he said a while ago. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to buy anything. I don't need to process any geodes or anything like that, right? So just go over here. Let's go over to the museum now. Go donate the opal and the fire quartz. And I think that's it. And then we can go over to Gus over at the uh, the bar, the saloon. Go give him the albacore that he needs. I don't know when I'm going to read those heckin' books, you guys. I'm just going to stay. I, I've probably been saying that for like five episodes now. I don't know when I'm going to read those. <laughs> like, we're over here busy doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe whenever the start of the springtime happens, we have a bunch of stuff automated with the, the sprinklers and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll do that then. But for right now, boop, there you go. Hey, a new reward. Cool. And we'll put that up there. Cool. Need to remember, Jamber. Oh, whoops. Jamberite. Or, uh, no, no, no. That's that. Opal and fire quartz. Let's read about that in the uh, in the thing. And let's get our reward. Like rewards, we got a obsidian vase. What? Ooh, interesting. Let's read about the uh, opal and all that kind of stuff. So where is that? Oh, there it is, right there. Opal. There it is, right there. <laughs> its internal structure causes it to reflect a rainbow of light. Ooh, kind of like a prismatic shard, huh? Or at least that one reflecting a bunch of light. This one's just kind of reflecting a bunch of blue and stuff. Where's the fire quartz on this one, though? Oh, there it is right there. A glowing red crystal commonly found near hot lava. Makes sense. And we found three of those. Yeah, I think we found another one last episode, uh, but we heckin' died and lost it, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks, right? And Jazz, what are you doing? I don't know what, why you're not over there. I already saw Vincent and Penny in there. You must be late. You must have got stuck in the snow or something like that. Do you like my bow? I actually do. It makes you look cute. Look at you. She's showing it off. <laughs> uh, so what else were we doing right now? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the albacore. Let's go over to the, uh, and I guess we can get the holly. That's like 80 gold or something like that, right? So I'm like, if, if it's in our way, if it's, if it's kind of like right there, might as well grab it. That's 80 gold. Yep, there you go. Yeah, a little bit of clay right there. Can't complain about that. Hey, look at that. Mayor Lewis is kind of doing something. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> what is he doing? He's like digging or something. I can't even talk to him. So you let me talk to him right now. What? Okay. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's done. Hold on. What are you doing? Whoa. Wait, what the? Oh, I'm spooking him because of the heckin' purple shot! 
<laughs> That's why. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you don't want to die. He's like screaming. Because I'm wearing like your purple shorts. I didn't even realize that at first. So, yeah, so Marnie's laughing whenever we wear the purple shorts. Mayor Lewis is like screaming. I was like wondering there because he he would he didn't react like that during the Winter Star event. And we had the heck of purple shorts on. <laughs> uh, I hope things are going well for you on the farm. Yeah, if you're just screaming just a second ago. <laughs> This is stupid. All right, so it's almost noon right now. Yeah, sure. Surely Gus is opening up uh, over here. I don't think it opens too late, does it? Yeah, he's open right now. All right, he just yeah. See, so he's coming out. He's coming out of the uh, wherever he lives up there. So where are we? What are we doing right now? Uh, Albacore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab that. And I guess we'll go to the mines. And uh, there you go. Cool. What's that? Something smells like Albacore. Aha! You brought it. Thanks a million. Hey, no problem, Gus. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. I'm like, you literally just opened up. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know why he's saying that. Like, he's been open for like all day. He literally just opened. He literally just got out of bed or whatever right there. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go see what we got on the board over here. I need sardines if it's not too inconvenient. George, 120 gold, and uh, George will be thankful. So sardines, can we look that up? Can we look that up in the in the thing? Sar? Yeah, boom. There it is right there. Sardine fish. Look at this. Look at this. Really great example, and it's not spoiling us on who likes the sardines or hates it or whatever. Really good stuff, unless unless we already know, right? But I don't think we just casually given sardines to anyone. Uh, so sardines, where where can we get that? Oh, we have to get it on the beach from six p.m. or six a.m. to seven p.m. Ooh, cool. Okay, so we can actually get that done like right now if we wanted to. Hmm, should I do that right now? Maybe. I'm, uh, you know, I kind of want to go check my uh, my. Oh man, Caroline just kind of appeared out of nowhere right there. Uh, I do want to go over here. Let's go check up on my farm because I do have that fish chest where I'm kind of just storing fish. I do want to see if I already have sardines just kind of stored away, you know, so uh, look, there you go. Yeah, I keep on picking up clay, unfortunately, man. But uh, let's go over here to go check up on it. And if we do have that, hey, that's going to be great for George. If not, then I don't know. Maybe maybe a little bit later. We'll uh, where is that on here? Herring, wrist snapper. Yeah, I don't think I see it here. Oh, wait, no, no, no yes. Herring, bream, ghost fish. Yeah, I don't have it over here. And by the way, I put the other uh, crab over here. That was in the uh, fridge previously, but I put it out here. Just because I know I got Calvis about and stuff like that, right? So, uh, anyways. Oh, man, we actually got double holly right there. Double gold holly. So, hey, that's good money right there. What was that 120 each? So, you're getting 240 just by doing literally nothing? Can't complain about that, right? So, uh, what else am I doing right now? Heading down. Should I head down to the beach? I don't think there's no fast way down there. I have to go down to... I have to go to the town. And then, I don't know. I'd hate to do... I'd hate to waste so much valuable time and stuff like that, right? That I could be in, in in the mines and all that kind of stuff, right? But I guess I'll go down there at least for George. You know, he's, he's so grumpy. He's, he's like I said, Ebenezer Scrooge and whatnot with on Christmas Day. <laughs> so maybe I can make him happy by getting him a fish. And hey, maybe I can get double fish. Oh yeah, I forget that. Yeah, we we put a uh, a wild bait in a crab pot last episode or the episode before, or something like that. Uh, I do need to go check up on that. And you guys said not to do that anymore, but uh, I'll just kind of myth busting, right? But anyways, we're over here on the beach. Yep. Oh, whoops, man, messed that up. I don't know, maybe we should go over to that lucky rock and go see if we have any better luck over there, right? That's tough right now. I, know, I, knew, I do see worms right there. And I'm not... Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, we got a hit. What is it? Hopefully we get to... What was it called? What do you want? Sardines? I think you wanted sardines. I'm not getting a uh, perfect on this, obviously. So, uh, yep, there you go. What is this? What is that? Oh, we got herrings. Okay. Yep. No, not bad. Not all, about as close as you can get to perfect without getting perfect, unfortunately. <laughs> so, let's, uh, hopefully we get a fish here. I, th I think at three... 3 p.m. Because the game does pause in the background. 3 p.m. I'm going I'm to head, start heading to the mines. But for right now, look, what do we get? We got it perfect. That's good. Whoa, what is hey, a sea cucumber? Is that worth a lot of money? I feel like it is. Actually, I feel like maybe it's not. Hey, right, we got a go, uh, dry starfish, too. Cool. I think there might be a bunch of coral and whatnot over here. You know what? Yeah, let's go over here. Let's go check on the coral that might be on the beach. You know, beach foraging and all that kind of stuff. I keep forgetting to come over here and check up on it, but... Maybe during winter time it doesn't really happen too often. Yeah, I'm not seeing like anything right now, man. Eh, let's just keep fishing, I guess. Ah, oh, man, didn't get anything. Yeah, it's 3 p.m. right now, unfortunately, man. Uh, let's wait until let's let's wait until 3:30, I'd say. And then, if we don't catch a oh, oh here we go. Like we have we have tomorrow and whatnot to try and catch this fish for him, right? Because I'm like it doesn't end at the end of the day. Like obviously we could do it like tomorrow or even the day after too. To what? Double sea cucumber, 17 inch new record. Whoa, that's crazy, you guys. Man, I bet I'm gonna get great money. We got a gold star right there. Don't wanna eat that slippery, slimy creature found in the ocean floor. <laughs> so where are the other ones? Whoa, we got iridium on those two iridiums. That's crazy good. 
<laughs> okay, I guess I can't complain about that. Do not gift that to him. Do not gift him a bomb either. I have to brush my hair daily or else it'll clump up into a messy knot. Oh yeah, that's why you have such luscious, luscious locks, huh, Elliot? It's a lot of work. Yeah, I believe you. I'm surprised I haven't just shaved it off in a fit of passion. I suppose I'm too vain. Oh yeah, you're you're just too good looking to do that, right? I bet you'd, you'd still look good even if you're bald. I don't know, shave off your head and like donate it to charity or something like that, right? Maybe they can make a wig out of it. That'd be pretty cool. Now, what do you have to say, Penny? Are you friends with Linus? He lives in the- Oh yeah, we've already talked to her about this before, yeah. Uh, let's just do this, just, you know, get some friendship points with her and all that kind of stuff, and let's go over here to the mines, go to, or, uh, go to the mine cart, go over to the mines. I guess if I, we can check up on the quarry real quick, though. Anything over here? Still no boulders, there's some worms and stuff there, there's some, uh, copper stuff right there, but no, uh, iridium ores or anything like that for me to break open, unfortunately, so that sucks. Let's go over to the mines, and where should I, what, what should I do? And by the way, someone did say, um to get like a spare sword in case you like die or whatever in the mines like we did last episode. Uh, and I think, I think we should keep it in here just in case we want to, you know, it, you know, we have a weapon and whatnot in case we lose it. Right. So that'd be pretty good. I don't know if I want to go down to level 90 and, and test that. Out. I, I guess we could try, you know, trying to break the, uh, the dirt and stuff like that with bombs. I guess we try that out. Right. See how, see how effective that actually is. Yeah. See, look at that. There's a big open spot right there and we have a little bit of gold. We mine here too. Cool. Let's do that. So is this supposed to break either of the, uh, there you go. There you go. Get away. Get away. Ah! Whoa, that broke a big area of rocks and a little bit of dirt there, too. Not bad. I guess we can break. Uh... Oh, here you go. Here you go. Big area of rocks right here. Big area of rocks. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. What are we going to get? Whoa, and it killed that like crab or whatever right here, too. Not bad. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there. It, oh, no, it killed the rock that was on top of the crab. Oh, he, he dropped the bomb, too. <laughs> Can't complain about that. So, uh, you know what? Let's try out the cherry bombs now. So, cherry bombs, how effective are these? Oh, they're actually still effective, honestly. They're honestly not even bad, that bad. Yeah, look at that. Breaking these with bombs and whatnot. Not bad. So how much how much stone am I up to now? Because I know I spent like four from earlier on to make a, a few stone pads for the uh, for the chicken, whatever. Oh, and look at that, we found the way down too. Awesome. Uh, I don't know. Should I hoe? Should I keep hoeing the ground and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. I had, didn't have any luck earlier on though, unfortunately. So uh, there you go. Oh, look at that. We have a uh, gold right here. Awesome. Let's get that. Ba boom. Kill this guy. I don't know if I have to kill him with a pickaxe to make it a little bit easier, but kill the shadow figure too. Or void. What in the world was that? Oh, he dropped void essence though. Not bad. It seems like right here might be a pretty decent place to try out at least maybe the cherry bombs. Just because of how small the, uh, the how, how tight of an area this- Oh, what was this? Oh, we've got, like, a wave of enemies or something that coming? I don't know. Yeah, I only picked up two stone right there, so nothing too crazy. Whoa, we got diamonds! We got diamonds, you guys! Kill this guy, kill this guy. Ah! Okay, we got him, nice. We got, uh, void essence and stuff, too. We got, uh, bats. Hold on, hold on. There we go, we got another diamond! Awesome! Kill the bat. There you go. Oh, just trying to kill him. That way I don't get flooded and swarmed and all that kind of stuff just like last time. Boom! Oh, man, I'm getting killed. I'm getting killed. I'm at half health. Need to watch out. Turn around! What are you doing? There you go. Man. There you go. Killed him. Killed him. Nice. And there's another one there. And... Ah, oh, I didn't get him right there, man. Oh, wait, there you go. Oh, man, we found the way down. Cool. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There you go. Oh, man, we got these guys here. Golly. Oh, jeez. What in the world? Hold on, hold on, shit. There you go. Oh, 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 I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. You know what, do nothing, do nothing. Hold on, hold on, eat some stuff, eat some stuff. And you know what, you know what, keep, keep eating them. Keep eating them, and then hit Y, just skip, and hurry up, there you go. And keep doing it, there you go. And we're getting another fire quartz right there, not bad, let's do that. There you go, pick that up. And then, uh, oh man, a big boulder right there, awesome. So we're going to get some good progress. And we got a crab or something right there, too. Kind of want to use that bomb, honestly. This is a pretty big area here, and we have a crab right there, awesome. Speaking of crab. Uh, here we go, here we go. Nice spot for a bomb, I'd say. Boom. No, here we go. Here's the boom. Ba-boom! Big, big explosion there. Wow, jeez, that was good. If I could lure a bunch of enemies over here, that'd be amazing. Yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that! Ow! Oh, it didn't kill any of them, though. Man! Actually, I think it killed a slime or something right there? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, it didn't drop anything. Man! Ah, that sucks. We have a slime guy right here, though, we can kill. 8.20 p.m. Yeah, we, we got plenty of time. I definitely want- oh, man. Definitely want to check up on, uh, how much stone I have. Where's that at? Here's right here, 342. We went up about like 50 or so right there. Not bad, nothing too crazy, nothing substantial. What in the world is that thing? Just floating, looking at me like weirdly. Ugh. Eat these common mushrooms, try and heal up. There you go. Yeah, I didn't catch the, uh, what do you call it, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. I guess if anything, I can eat that herring, just straight up, just eat it. <laughs> I get a little bit of health back, right? So I guess I can't complain about that, but, uh, yep. Oh, I just killed, oh, squid ink? Ew. Is that good? 
Is that rare? I don't know. I kind of want to hover over it, see if it's a community center item or anything like that, right? Let's see, uh, cherry bombs. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Place that down, and... Eh, I thought that was going to explode a bigger area than it actually did. But, uh, let's kill these bats as well. There we go, bat wing. Uh, let's keep going around here, see if we have any other, uh, things that we can actually break. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, unfortunately. We have another guy right here, though, we can kill. Oh, what? Did I kill him right there? He teleported. I don't know. Very confused by that. Copper ore. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not finding the way down, unfortunately. I need to find the way down. We do have- do we have a stair? No, yeah, I lost it last time, yeah. When we died last time, I lost the heckin' stair. Man, that sucks. Let's get the- let's get the cherry bombs, start scattering them here. There we go. Uh, it's not really, uh... Yeah, oh, oh, hey, cave carrot right there, though. That's not too bad, I guess. Uh, but I do want to hoe the ground and try and find... What do you call them? Scrolls or whatever. What is it, like a 0.2% chance every time you break a, a piece of the ground, you're supposed to get a thing back, a, a dwarf scroll? Haven't had any luck with that, unfortunately. I've broken so many uh, things on the ground, but yeah, those cherry bombs hardly break anything, unfortunately, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not finding the way down. Oh, wait, there we go. Finally, right as I say that. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, yeah, look at, look at how tightly this, uh, tightly packed this area is. This is perfect. Wow, look at that over there. We got something over there that gives us... Oh, man, there's like a treasure chest. Oh, get the... Ah, get out of the way! Man, I was getting stuck on things there. I was kind of worried I was going to die. But hey, look at that. We found the way down. Awesome. So we actually found the way down in level 95. Awesome. Okay, cool. What is that? What is that? Why can't I pick that up? Oh, inventory. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Eat the winter root. Eat the winter root. Yes. Eat that. There you go. Nice. Get the gold. Oh, we got a ruby. That's what... The oh, well, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I'm over here like questioning what a ruby is. Wow, look at all these stones over here. Yeah, look at this. This is going to be a great place to place down. I I'm like, I only have cherry bombs now, right? But uh, here we go. Place that down there. Place another one down there. Maybe place another one here. Whoa, man, that was close. Oof. Well, at least we're starting to break a bunch of stuff over here, which is great. Can I place this, uh, oops, cherry bomb? Yeah, place that right there. Nice. Try and get some good progress here. And start breaking these stuff, too. Might as well. How are we doing, uh, stone-wise? We're at 373 right now. Not bad. 381. Pretty good. We're picking up coal and gold ore and all that kind of stuff. It's almost midnight right now, so might want to start, uh, thinking about... Go into that entrance, or, uh, that, that thing down- Oh, yeah, and then there's a thing down here, yeah. Let's break that. Go see what that is. I don't think that's diamond, I think that's something else. Like, like, Aaron the Knight or something. What is that? No, wait, no, 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 that's like turquoise or something, huh? Hold on, what can I get rid of? Uh, copper ore, I guess? Or, maybe, yeah, you know what, eat the cave carrot. Eat the cave carrot, that's good. Eat the cave carrot. Yes, eat the cave carrot. Boom. Oh, no, 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 aquamarine. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, blue gems and stuff like that, so obviously I get those mixed up, right? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there's a boulder over there, too. Cool. So I'm going to get a lot of stone from that. What, 15? Or like 10 or something like that? I forget. Uh, yeah, 10 right there. We have 11 now. Okay, cool. And another, you know, you know, you know what? Yeah, break another one. It's going to be a good progress there. So we're about halfway. Don't know if we're actually going to make it to, uh, oh man, diamonds. Yeah. Yes, please. Give me those diamonds, hater. And we got another guy right there. See if I can actually, oh, 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 I got hit right there, though. Losing health and whatnot. Oh man. What in the world? Can I not? No, what in the world? I wasn't able to damage him right there. That was crazy. Hold on. Use the bomb against all this stuff. <laughs> Use it on him, too. And Boom! Did some good damage to him and found the way down. Cool stuff. Hold on, hold on. So what time is it? It's one one something AM. You know what? You know what? Start leaving right now. We have we have good good stuff. We found the level uh, 95. Don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Don't want to get greedy. Definitely want to go home. Uh go to the bus stop, yes. Oh yeah, you guys also did comment. I need to uh I need I need to start like going to the community center and finishing up the stuff to like, fix the bus stop and stuff like that, too. So, maybe next episode we can start looking into that. Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, one thirty. Do I have room to get all that pickled stuff? And then... No, I don't think so, unfortunately. Man. Fiber. I guess we can get rid of that. We have tons of that. There you go. Get rid of that. I, j I just don't think we have enough stuff. That's, that's all going to be pumpkins here in just a minute. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We have uh, 88 stuff. So, we can actually just load that into, yeah, into the slingshot. Okay, there you go. So, we have two slots right now. So, we can actually grab... Whoops. We actually grab pumpkins. Where are those at? Man, I don't know where they're at. Golly, it's 1.30. Okay, so we can grab the pumpkins. And what else could I put inside there? Man, I don't know. What do I have a lot of? Eggplants? I guess. I guess we'll egg grab eggplants. Yeah, sure. So how many do we have right there? I don't know. Grab like four eggplants. Sure. Grab those. Put the pumpkins over there. It's 140. It's 140. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, my inventory's full. Ah, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sap. Sell. Put the pumpkins over here. There we go. Uh, it's 140, it's 140. Oh my gosh. Okay, there you go. Yes, yes, yes. Put the pumpkins. It's 150. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Eggplant. Eggplant. Put the eggplants over here now. Nope. Are these pro- Oh, there you go. That one. Oh, oh that one's pro- Oh my gosh! Go, 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 go inside the house! Oh my gosh, it's 150. Oh, jeez. 
<laughs> Fall asleep right by the entrance and everything. Golly. We're going to have just nonstop streaks of energy penalties here because we keep falling asleep, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, anyways, at least we got a, a, another day ahead on that. All those uh, preserving bins right there, you know, eggplants, those probably aren't really that good. But hey, at least we got the pumpkins started over there. So that's good. So that's all of our pumpkins actually right there, by the way. So that's great. So we actually got a day ahead and they're not going to take as long as pumpkin juice would. So, hey, I'd say that's a pretty good winning scenario right there, right? Oh, yeah, I probably should have put down this vase over here. I don't know why I didn't do that. Whoops. Uh, but, yeah, put that up there. We have, like, sea cucumbers and other random trash in my inventory I need to go put up. Uh, we have rubies, which is really good. I guess I could eat the eggplant. I don't, eh, don't really. Oh, hey, I thought I was supposed to get an energy penalty, but I didn't. I guess because I, yeah, I fell asleep inside of my house, right? <laughs> so, there you go. Cool. Uh, is there anything else I can put up over here? Yeah, there you go. Wow, look at that. Fire quartz. Put that up over here. Cool. Uh, anything else? No. Tea cucumber, yeah. Go put that over where the fish and all that kind of stuff are. Then this is wood. Yeah, 361. Yeah, so we could definitely get the shed started. I, I should have done that yesterday on the way over to, uh, whatever her name's house is, right? Oh, whoa, we got magma. I didn't even notice that. We got magma geodes. We got three of those. Holy. Yeah, I definitely want to open up those next episode. And yeah, I definitely want to make more, uh, bombs and cherry bombs next episode, you guys, too. Because those were very effective. Didn't get the, uh, the, the dwarf scroll like we wanted to, but hey, it, it did break a bunch of stone down there pretty heckin' quickly. Especially the, the high quality or, or, like, the level 95 stone that takes, like, two or three hits with my pickaxe, my regular steel pickaxe to break. Uh, I guess we could always go down to, like, layer 20 or whatever, and we could break those stones in just one hit. Make that a little bit easier, but hey, we're at, like, 480 or something like that, right? What are we at right now for, uh, Robins? Yeah, 417, not too bad. A little bit less than halfway, though, and it's Saturday, and Sunday's the last day. Can I still do this, though? Because we missed out on, on Christmas Day, no progress on Christmas Day. If we come back next episode, I definitely want to maybe focus a little bit more on this. Just go and just straight up, just go to the mines immediately. Because I don't think it's like anyone's birthday or anything like that, right? Uh, go to the mines immediately, and then just try and break a bunch of heck of stone. and Maybe, maybe use the bombs and all that kind of stuff, too. And that'll help out, too. Wait, what squid uses ink to confuse would-be predators? It's not even a community, so I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> Very confused by that, you guys. Uh, but for right now, uh, I guess I'll just, yeah, I don't need to put anything up because uh, we went to bed and I can end off the episode right here. Uh, it's almost an hour-long video, so hey, uh, if you guys are, like, longing for hour-long videos again, hey, uh, I guess we got an hour-long video again here, but not going to be happening every episode anymore, right? Anyways, before I end off the video, let's see what this thing in the mail is from Clint here. Well, I know a couple of recipes. I thought I'd send you one. Uh, maybe I'll help you mine more or something. I don't know. Take care, Clint. Algae soup. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely want to try that out next episode, you guys, if we have any algae soup, because I do know we have a lot of sea or, uh... No, 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 I have seaweed. I don't think we have any algae. I don't know. I have to look into that. Anyways. Oh, wait, hold on. I can just literally just look it up, right? Hold on. How do I do that again? Algae. Yeah, there's right there. How do I make? Yeah, we have green algae. Yeah, we got green algae and seaweed. Yeah, we need four of those to get algae soup. Okay, how good is that? Is that very good? Oh, I don't even say like the benefits of it, unfortunately, man. Okay, well, maybe next episode we'll look into that and see if it's actually worth anything. And we could make a shirt out of cloth and algae soup. Okay, it kind of looks like that color. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but there you go, right? So anyways, I guess I'll just end off the video right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.